I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Thomas Edison. I take three fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to go towards the left, curve line down, curve line out, in, curve line down, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw a curve line down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And connect. I come back over here on the left and I'm just going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up. Come back to the left, straight diagonal down, curve line over, straight diagonal up, connect. Right here in the center I'm just going to draw a big curve line, come down below, curve line up, connect on the right, curve line up, connect on the left. If you have room I'm going to put one, two, three baby circles. I come right over here on this point and I draw a straight diagonal out, in, straight line down, come over here on the right hand side, straight diagonal out, in, straight line down. Okay, I come back up to the dot and I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line down, wavy, wavy, wavy line up, connect, come back up to the dot, we're going to draw a curved line out, down and around, wavy line in and connect. Come back up to the top again and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line down and connect. Come inside right about here and put a dot and we're just going to draw a wavy wavy line up, wavy wavy line down and connect. Come over on the right, put a dot, wavy line up, Back to the dot, wavy line down, up, and connect. Right underneath, straight line, curve line, connect on the left, straight line, curve line, connect on the right. Come right here in the center and we're just going to draw straight diagonal, curve line in, leave it floating, come down below, slightly curve line, Curve line underneath, curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Okay, now come up here on the upper right, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down, and draw it again. Wavy, wavy, wavy line down, and leave it floating. Come right back up to the top, put a dot, wavy, wavy line down, right next to it, mimic that line again, wavy, wavy line. Inside, we're just going to put straight lines going down and little dots on the inside space going up. We'll talk about what this is in a minute. Both sides, let's do our little dotted line inside. Now come over here on the left, put a dot, and we're going to draw straight diagonal, straight line down, curve line, leave it floating, come back to the top, straight diagonal down, curve line, and connect. Right underneath, straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect, little curve line at the bottom. Inside this space, little straight lines. Inside this space, curve line up, out, in, connect. And now little straight lines going all the way across. Down here on this side, we're just going to write 1,000 patents. And again, we'll explain that in just a minute. And on this side, Going up, 
we're going to write Wizard of Menlo Park. And I'll explain what that means in just a minute. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we're going to keep this pretty simple to color in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my black and I'm just going to color in this space on the right, this space on the left. I'm going to come down and I'm going to color this space black, <coughs> excuse me, in the center and this space black on the right, this space black on the left. I'm going to come up and I'm going to color in this space in each one of these little spaces. Now, what are we doing here? We are, in this instance, coloring in film stock because Thomas Edison was one of the people who made up the motion picture camera. So he's an important inventor. We're going to take a yellow and we are going to color in part of the incandescent light bulb over here, which he was innovative of improving. The thousand patents, now see a lot of people don't know this. He was, I'm going to take yellow straight lines and do the background. He was a very, very famous inventor, but even more important, he would take an invention and he would make innovations to it, add things to it, and make it more compatible for use. And that's what the thousand patents are. He was so famous at doing that, that that's why they called him the Wizard of Menlo Park. That was where his company was based. I want to say studio, because he almost, he was like an artist. Okay, I'm going to take gray and color in this space and I'm going to, if you have multicultural crayons, I'm going to color in his face. If you don't have multicultural crayons, that's fine. But Thomas Edison, very important inventor. And probably even more important, he was an incredible businessman. That's what all those patents were for. He would uh, take somebody else's ideas and work them into his own and make the whole product better because of it. And he did it with film, camera, mo motion picture cameras, incandescent light bulbs, the phonograph, batteries. All kinds of things. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Thomas Edison, inventor, businessman, and the wizard of Menlo Park. That's where he lived, Menlo Park. Okay, bye-bye.